As we learn more about COVID-19, we also have more questions from you all at home. Dr. Pyle Coley is on the phone with us right now to answer some of your questions. Dr. Pyle Coley, good morning. Good morning, Natasha. And you are at your house right now practicing social distancing. So our first viewer wants to know if she should stay at home. So just to give you a little bit about her situation, she's in her 70s. She needs to take her dog to the groomers. They're doing curbside pickup. She's asking if it's still OK to go outside to the groomers today. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, I think it depends on the urgency of the grooming. If it's something that could be postponed given her age mm -hmm. at this time, you know, given the incidence of the number of new cases, I would say probably postpone elective things like that. But if it's something urgent that needs to be addressed in his grooming needs, then curbside is probably the safest way to do it. So she minimizes mm -hmm. contact. We know for sure that animals are not really a vector for this infection. So we don't suspect that dogs are likely to spread it or bring it to her. Uh, another viewer heard that COVID-19 can live on cardboard boxes. I know you've kind of addressed that before, uh, but she's asking if that's true. That is absolutely true. In fact, a study just came out in the New England Journal of Medicine last week that said that it can last with cardboard for up to 24 hours. And so if you're getting packages or anything like that, keep that in mind. Sometimes people just leave the package in the garage mm -hmm. for a day or so. Um, or if you're going to have to bring it into your house, then think about wiping it down and washing your hands after you handle it. Yeah, so 24 hours, maybe leave it outside until you can bring it back inside. Um, right. Another question a viewer had earlier was, um, you know, what are some of the symptoms, the early symptoms? Because, uh, you know, overnight we learned that loss of smell could have been a new symptom now. Yeah, so that's a very interesting finding, what we found. So this is a respiratory infection. It infects our nasal passages and our oral passages. And as you know, anyone who's had a cold before can tell you that you can lose your, your sense of smell and then your sense of taste. And that's called anosmia and agusia. And that can happen when you have a cold. But the interesting thing about the COVID-19 infection is that it can actually happen as the first sign or symptom before you have any nasal congestion or anything else. And for some people, it's the only sign or symptom mm. and they're learning this really from from data that's coming out of South Korea and Germany where they're saying 30 to 60 percent of people especially the young adults who tend to not have a lot of symptoms may have this as their only symptom so the British um, Rhinological Society actually issued a guidance just yesterday telling us that if you come into contact with anyone who's lost their sense of taste or smell consider that person to be infected and make sure that person isolates themselves for 7 to 14 days. I think that's so important. I mean, uh, you know, we're learning more about this virus every single day. So these questions are evolving. Um, Dr. Coley, thank you so much for joining us uh, on the phone this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I'll and uh, sorry, go ahead. I said I'm happy to be back soon. Yes, yes. And like I said, you know, Dr. Coley, social distancing at home, you definitely should as well if you don't need to go out for um, essentials. And if you do have to go out, go to the grocery store, come back home. Uh, we're going to be right back. Keep sending us questions for Dr. Coley.